all right <clears throat> yes youtube uh you know i've had a couple people to uh ask me on facebook and different social media sites and i've even had a private email through my youtube channel asking me about screwdrivers and what i preferred you know for a technician uh myself i'm more of a small engine and equipment mechanic you know i work in trucks and different stuff and these screwdrivers here all four of these are snap on okay this is a ratcheting curve uh snap on this one right here is just a regular snap on flat head all these are this one the interesting story is see how rusted this one is i actually lost this one in like 2009 in my yard at my old house and i found it when i was moving in 2012 so it lived a rough life sitting outside or 2013 so yeah it's been about four years outside and yeah it had some rust on it but you can still see the tip and stuff still wasn't terrible i probably run over it with the lawnmower and everything else well the brush hog i should say but these other ones they've been well used i mean these screwdrivers they're about 16 17 years old but they have been well used i mean i'm not gonna lie you know places i worked at man i mean my tools set sometimes even had to set outside you know i was in the rain and everything else and you know it was around paint and everything else so they've been well used but you know there's a variety of screwdrivers you don't necessarily need snap-on screwdrivers now I, I like the snap-on drivers but you know when it comes to comfort and feel there's other brands out there now here's one that my father got me for a birthday back in the 90s when i first started collecting tools and this was a sears brand doesn't have a lifetime warranty i don't know who made these for sears but this is one of my first screwdrivers I ever got and you know it's held up okay <clears throat> As I started getting more money and was getting out and working and, and learning my trade more and more, I started buying some Craftsman tools. This is standard Craftsman screwdriver, and it's not a bad screwdriver for a lifetime warranty, but it's not the most comfortable for gripping your hands. <clears throat> now, my favorite screwdrivers, honestly, that I have right now are these Ampro screwdrivers. I have a set of them, and I got these at Advanced Auto Parts probably 10, 11 years ago. And I haven't used this one a whole lot, but these these are really comfortable, nice cushioning grips. Really, really like these Ampro screwdrivers, and I got them for under 20 bucks for the set. So if I was to buy some today, again, which I don't need any, I have more than I need, uh, I would maybe look at the set of these Ampros. Now, I don't think Advance carries these anymore, but they still are sold on eBay and Amazon and different stuff, Ampro. I really, really like these Ampro screwdrivers. If I was on a budget and not really sure, I may look at these Craftsman's too. I've seen these at Kmart for like $9.99 for a set, which isn't bad. The screwdrivers, the, the snap on ones, they're really overpriced in my opinion, but they, they are good, solid screwdrivers. You can see the abuse these have been through. Um, now, I have some Cobalt screwdrivers from uh, Lowe's, and uh, I got, actually I keep them, I got a set of them, and I keep them in my one in my tractor toolbox and one in my backhoe toolbox and i really really like them too and they're reasonably priced and they have the good cushioning grip just like the uh, ampro does so there's a lot of good brands out there now the other day i was at home depot looking around and they had some really good looking and nice milwaukee brand screwdrivers with a nice rubbery cushiony grip and i believe they were insulated which you know are good if you're going to do any electrical work and they were reasonably priced too so there's a lot of good brands out there from experience stay away from the harbor freight screwdrivers i've found that they just do not last and are not real good i would stay with the ampro a craftsman a cobalt a snap on uh even a mic uh, i can't justify i can't say anything about matco or cornwell because i've never bought a matco or cornwell screwdriver but you know what i've seen they're all good all right thank you